What's good? How you doing? It's your girl D back with another video. Is my elbows ashy? It might be. <laughs> so next in the series of fall makeup inspired looks, I wanted to bring you some of my favorite vampy shades. Y'all know these colors, this right here, is so very me. Um, and so I don't have quite as many um, as I did for the brown liquid or the brown lipstick and lip color shades, but I have quite a few still in my collection. So I wanted to go ahead and bring them to you guys and swatch them for you. Um, this eyeshadow look is brought to you courtesy of the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Which I have not used in a very long time. So if you want me to bring you a tutorial on this, I'd be happy to. Anyway, so the first shade is the one that I'm wearing right now. And I know I look a smidge trifling, but that's because I did this makeup several hours ago. And I thought I'd be able to squeeze this video out before I had to leave for karate for the night, but I didn't. And we just had Chipotle. So, um, this is MAC. This is one of the Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And this is the shade Uniformly Fabulous. It is long lasting and it made it through a whole burrito bowl and apparently it was buy one get one free uh, with your library card tonight. Don't know how, where or why but I guess it was a thing so that food was extra good because it cost my son's meal to be free. So anyway, so uniformly fabulous retro man. Next up, this is a lip gloss that MAC has. This is one of their lip glasses. This is in the shade Purple Mocha. I'm gonna have to break this one out. And it smells nice too. Usually Max lip glosses don't really have a scent to them, but this one really does smell nice. So again, this shade is called Purple Mocha. Going to a lesser expensive item, because I realize that a lot of my vamp shades are um, kind of prestige brands. This is a liquid lipstick from Ruby Kisses. This is their lip liqueur. But honest to God, I could not tell you what the name of it is. Since it's a uh, beauty supply brand, a lot of their stuff doesn't really have names or numbers. I've had this for a while, but I love it. It's thick. It's very thick. Mmm, yes. And you see why I picked this one up. Why I've had this in my arsenal for as long as I have. But when I find the name, I will let you know definitely in the description box. Or I'll pop it up if I can find it. I just, I've had it for so long. I And it, it really didn't have a label on there. But Ruby Kisses their lip liqueur in this fire ass shade just mmm mmm next up a traditional lipstick this is from bite beauty and this is the shade black truffle and again the one thing I love about bite is that they're items have a like a light citrus scent to them so again bite beauty that is a black truffle next step I think I'm gonna go with um, a matte liquid lipstick so this is from dose of colors and this is the shade mood
not as deep as I originally would have thought when I swatched these all out um, I thought this would pick up a little bit deeper oh oh it just needs to dry down please hold hmm yeah I don't wear this one as often it is nice I do like it um, but it's not the first one that I reach for whenever I do a a vampy vampy lip anyways dose of colors mood let's go in with a lip gloss this is Too Faced melted latex this is in the shade can't touch this Again, this is Too Faced Melted Latex in the shade Can't Touch This. I did mention that there was a shade that I uh, wouldn't necessarily reach for, but this is one that I do. This is my Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Evil Twin. Oh, this, I have to say, is one of my absolute favorites. I keep this one a lot in my purse during the fall season. Mm. <laughs> yeah, straight look evil though just y'all be glad that I use my powers for good because if I actually chose to be a villain <laughs> again this is Too Faced evil twin moving onward a shade from Kat Von D and her Everlasting Lipsticks. This is, I believe, Damned? Yes. Yes, Damned. Hmm. Again, this is Damned from Kat Von D. Next up, this is a lip gloss I forgot I had actually. This is from Max Vamplify Collection and this is the shade With Gusto. So this is MAC Vamplify. This is uh, with Gusto. It reminds me a little bit of this uh, mocha one that they had. Was that it? No. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. The uh, purple mocha. It reminds me of that. Just a little bit more solid and base and not as sparkly. But, oh well. Still, I'm digging them. And last but not least my new favorite vampy shade even though I have so many other favorites even though I have so many other favorites this one though she is special Pat McGrath the matte trance in the shade deep void <sighs> like do you see this do you see her? Do you see this? Mm. And it is hella pigmented. And it's it's not 100% long lasting, but then again, maybe if I wasn't eating, cause you know I'm fluffy and I like to eat. If I didn't have the appetite that I do, maybe it would last a little bit longer, but you know I'm, I smash food regularly. Still, look at it. Mm. And it's so comfortable too, just. Mm. Mm. she's the most expensive though i'm gonna let you know i will link pricing information in the description box for how much each of these items cost um some of them may not be available um some may have been limited edition 
but I will search the internet far and wide so that I'm able to find pricing information for you guys to let you know if you're interested in something similar at least. I know the Too Faced ones, the Melted Latex and the Melted Matte, I know those definitely are available as well as Kat Von D's Damned and even the Matte Trance should still be available from Matt, Pat McGrath. But the others I may have to um, double check but I will give you validation in the description box below. As always, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comment section. If you are new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you back on my channel. But if you're not here for me, my shenanigans, my opinions, or for like a use of the word, that's fine. There is an X in that corner for you to click, get your life, and get off of my channel. But if you are here for my shenanigans, you are beautiful, amazing, wonderful, spectacular. And if no one else has told you, I appreciate you. We are less than 200 subscribers away from 2,000. It took a year to make it to 1,000 and pretty much we have almost doubled that in less than half time. And I really don't know why y'all tolerate my shenanigans or am I really, really inappropriate potty mouth but god damn it I appreciate you let me just be real I do and y'all are who I do this for so thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it um other than that again if you want to see a I will link in the description box um details about this particular look and the items that I used if you're interested and you want a tutorial on it let me know other than that I'm gonna get to editing and then get to bed so now we'll see you on the next video take care